Hello everybody, the Michael Denny here from Michael's Gameplays and today we're going to be doing something a little different. If this is well received then it's going to be a more frequent thing but what I'm going to be doing basically is I'm going to pick uh, an aircraft or a specific, well not a specific type but uh, a bunch of similar v aircraft or different variants of that aircraft and I'm going to, as there's gameplay in the background, I'm just going to tell you a little about the aircraft. Um, if you enjoy this series, then I will keep doing it. But and it needs to be like I need some support f uh, by doing this because it takes a lot of time. F well, for me anyway, it takes a lot of time for me to gather up all the information and write out my my script um, for the the video which I've got right in front of me. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to find suitable length game types, uh, game plays. Sorry, yeah because uh, I'm not wanting to have the the, uh, the script being too short or the video being too short but hopefully it should only take me about 6 minutes or so to actually read the script and then if I've got some gameplay left over I can just like play that through. Uh, today's video is going to be on the bullfighters as you can tell by the title. Um, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you gameplay of the Mark 21 bowfighter because I've not unlocked that yet but you will still see some gameplay for the Mark 6C and the Mark 10. So let's just get straight into the information. Uh, reading's not my best thing so please bear with me here. Uh, the bowfighter Mark 6 uh, C was introduced by the middle of 1942 to be used by the Coastal Command, hence the C and the Mark C. I uh, guess that stands for Coastal or Command or both. Um, it would be used to patrol coastal areas and escort vessels. The aircraft proved so effective in the Mediterranean against shipping aircraft and ground targets that the Coastal Command became the major user of both airs, replacing the now obsolete Beaufort and Blenheim. I think that's how you pronounce it. The Bullfighter Mark VI was armed with four 20mm cannons at the nose of the plane and the lower part of the fuselage. It was a two-man aircraft with two engines giving 1,670 horsepower each and had a wingspan of roughly 18 metres and a length of 13 metres. It could travel at a speed of 536 kilometres an hour when it was at a height of 4,755 metres. By the end of 1942, Mark 6Cs were being equipped with torpedo carrying gear, enabling them to carry the British 18 inch or the US 22 and a half inch ex uh, torpedo externally. The first, signif no, the first successful torpedo attack by the Bullfighters came in April 1943 with number 254 squadrons sinking two merchant ships off the Norwegian coast. That's all I've got for the bullfighter. If any of the information is wrong, please forgive me. Uh, I checked on a few websites for this information. This is what I've got so far. Uh, now on to the bullfighter Mark 10. So, the bullfighter TF Mark 10, that's its proper designated name, uh, was a continuation and development of the Mark 6C. It entered service in 1943 and was especially designed for low-level attacks due to the AI MK8 radar installed in the nose and that made them ideal for detecting and destroying ground targets. The TF in the designation stood for Torpedo Fighter as this aircraft was able to hold the standard British and American torpedo and I believe that to be a, the, the 18 inch or the 22 and a half inch uh, US torpedo. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know if you know. Because I didn't find out that information. Probably should have, but I didn't. Anyway, uh, like the Mark 6, the Mark 8 was a two man aircraft. It also had four 20mm tw cannons under the fuselage, but it also had six 7.7 .7 machine guns mounted on the wings. Uh, I believe that was four in the right wing and two in the left wing. I don't know, port and starboard, so sorry. Um, the Bristol, the two Bristol Hercules 18 engines gave off 17, 1770 horsepower each given a speed of 488 kilometers per hour at low levels and I think low levels is about 400 meters uh, 
and 512 kilometers an hour when it is at 3,000 meters. Of the 5,200, no, 5,928 bullfighters that were made, 2,205 of them were Mark 10s. So that's pretty. That's a lot. It's a lot. Well, 5,900 is a lot as well. Anyway, uh, on to the Mark 21. The Australian made Bullfighter Mark 21 entered service in 1944. Post production ended. No, post production? Why? Where the fuck did I get post from? Production doesn't even look like post. Anyway, put, 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 uh, production ended in 1946 due to the war ending, but not before 365 Mark 21s had already been built. It differed from its predecessors in its nose cone, replacement of the 7.7mm machine guns with Browning 12.7 machine guns. I believe that's 50 calibers. Uh, not 100% though. Uh, and the replacement of its engines, which were the Hercules 18 engines, with uh, the Hercules C7 engines. Uh, scroll down. It was armed with 420mm cans, like all the others. They were in the nose, underneath the fuselage, as per. Uh, it also had four seven. Uh, four 12.7mm machine guns in the wings and was able to carry eight 5 inch hi HVAR, that's a uh, high velocity aircraft rockets, yeah, uh, and two 250 pound bombs, two 500 pound bombs, and one Mark 13 torpedo. I don't know the exact. Um, the exact weight of that, it might be 760 pounds, not sure, but um, yeah. It could achieve a speed of 515 kilometers an hour thanks to its two 1600 horsepower engines and that's the engines, I uh, already said them, but that's the uh, Hercules C7 as opposed to its predecessors, Hercules 18. Anyway, that is all the information I've got. It really doesn't seem like that much information when you speak it out as opposed to typing it. Um, but yeah, if there's any gameplay left, I don't have gameplay right now. I did have gameplay, but it's screwed up and it's not working very well, so I'm going to need to get new gameplay. And so if there's any gameplay left, then enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, please show your support uh, by leaving a like leaving comments, uh, comment if you want me to do more and if you've got any requests on which aircraft you would like to see next then just put it down in comments. If also if you've got any links to uh, websites that do have information I know it's kind of, uh, I'll put this word I'm looking for, it's not a word, it's a phrase, I'm not sure. I know it's kind of, ah uh, oh, fuck, how, how can I not think of this? It's kind of, it's de defeats the purpose, kind of yeah, defeats the purpose of me doing the video because I'm supposed to be telling you about it as opposed to you just having to go find stuff. But anyway, yeah, if you just so happen to know of a website, then that would also help if you somewhat gave me that link and then I can sort it all out and do the next video and stuff. But yeah, so, enjoy the video, thumb it up, didn't enjoy the video, thumb it up, uh, leave comments. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.